Hi Libra, welcome to your July Love Tarot reading. So Libra, we're looking at whatever you need to know, whatever messages need to come out for the month of July regarding love. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Libra, we do have the True Love reading cards here. So I'm going to play you some opening messages with this deck, see what's going on. And then uh, we'll get into your reading. So welcome in, Libra. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Libra, I just want to say make sure you are checking um, readings go out now 7.30 a.m. Eastern uh, Daylight Time every single day. Always three readings by elements, so if you see... A reading go out and there's there's only one notification going out i don't know why youtube is only sending one notification when i publish three videos at the same time so everyone really really needs to check there if you see one video go out please check your sub feed for your readings because views are way down because of this so i don't know what's going on but um i've been trying to post it all over the channel and uh the community tab to please keep a lookout and always check your sub feed. All right, Libra. So let's see what's going on for you for, and make sure you have notifications turned on um, too. So like all notifications, if you have some or whatever, or you don't have it set right, you won't get all notifications. So please keep that in mind as well. All right, Libra, let's see. Luminosity, shine bright like a diamond. We have serendipity. Ooh. Oh, look at, okay, I'm kind of getting a message here. Chivalry, ooh. Look at all of the sun energy and boundaries. Okay. So what I feel like here, Libra, is that you're really shining outward. Like you're glowing, you're shining, your aura, your light, your, your divinity, whatever it is. And whatever this glow is, like whatever this, maybe you just had a glow up, I don't know. But whatever this glow is you've got going on right now, it's definitely bringing something in, like a serendipitous energy, which is going to bring in this new romantic energy to you. And we do have chivalry here because, I mean, we have all this like sunshiny energy here. But then we have boundaries. So you may be a little cautious or have, you know, self-protection boundaries up. So even if you have that energy, you're still like glowing. You're, you've got to glow, you're glowing, whatever you're doing, and it's drawing someone into you, whether you know them or not. So let's see. All right, Libra, let's get into your reading and see what's going on. All right, Libra. All right, Libra, we've got the Steampunk Tarot, so I'm going to do your reading with this. All right, Libra. Let's see for Libra. All right, let's see. Libra. I think sometimes, too, for some reason, no, uh, YouTube turns off notifications, so I don't know if it's a glitch or something or whatever. So always, always make sure you're still obviously subscribed and you have notifications turned on. All right, Libra, let's see. The Empress. There you are, shining bright. Did I not say that? In your divinity, and there's <laughs> That's that's Libra Taurus energy right there. Wow, okay. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you worked hard to get this glow up or whatever it is for you. Four of Wands. Very dedicated. Um, foundation. Very dedicated, loyal, and also a healthy foundation. That's what I'm feeling too. Ten of Swords. So you may have experienced some endings in your life and broken heart energy. Ew, I don't like that. But whatever this is did, did definitely make you stronger. And I think you're just in energy now where you've, yep, you've put that behind you, worked on hard on yourself, you laid your foundation, and you're glowing up. Your glow up is bringing, you know, a big uh, love energy in here. So we got Libra Taurus. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Knight of Swords. Maybe a little, oh my god, in the tower. This could be something very unexpected with the Knight of Swords in the tower. Okay, what is that? Two of Wands. A new path. Death. Oh my gosh, we have an Emperor. Which is a match to the Empress. I definitely feel like you've experienced some things. You've gone through major transformations in your life. You've encountered many crossroads in your life. Many changes. Maybe unexpected. 
maybe a lot of chaos, whatever the case may be. But I like I see I see you moving on from things here. This you know, moving on from things, maybe looking back a little bit, but coming in here is an emperor, which is a match of the empress. And it can be same sex, it doesn't matter, you know, females can be masculine, males can be feminine. So whatever the case may be. Okay, Libra. All right. Someone see someone could be seeing your glow up coming in here, um, all romantic and everything. All right, let's see, Libra. What else do we need to know here? Okay. Oh my God, the Emperor wanted to show up again. He just kind of plopped onto the deck. All right. What else do we need to know here for Libra? Right on the Empress. Holy crap. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. Maybe this has been a long time coming. Maybe this is someone you know. And they've seen you go through things. And they've seen you... Like, rebuild yourself. And now you're in your glow up. And now, maybe it's been a long time coming. They want to step in as an emperor here. Queen of Swords. Definitely is somebody who's been through a lot. There's my Libra card. Nine of Pentacles. Single. Somebody... It's a long time coming for somebody is seeing you now as single. Maybe you've been divorced, whatever. Temperance and reverse. So I feel like I feel like this person always felt that you were meant to be together, but obviously couldn't be with this temperance reversed. But now they kind of see their opportunity. They see your glow up. And they want to love you up. <laughs> That's kind of what I see here. Oh my gosh. So we have Aries. Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, Hermit. I kind of feel like somebody, you know, kind of keeping their distance here, right? Single energy. And, uh, but really, you know, not watching in a creepy, creepy way, but definitely um, they see what's been going on here. So this endings and new beginnings here with the world. It could be traveling, moving, or distance. Eight of Swords is definitely was a stuck energy. But Three of Cups is according to Dana getting to know. Nine of Swords can be a little, you know, stress, anxiety, nerves. Magician, though, is there's a new beginning here. So either they may be a little nervous about coming forward to ask you out on a date or something like that. Or maybe they already have. And maybe you're a little nervous about it. So it could go either way. Wow. Okay. All right, Libra. Let's see. What else? Definitely feel like someone wants to love you all up. <laughs> and I don't mean that. I mean that like in a good way, not like in a bad way. But they've really seen you like glow up. I keep getting that with all that energy there. Oh, my God. The Ace of Pentacles. Are you serious? That just jumped out of the deck. Okay. What else here for Libra? The Hierophant. Oh, my goodness. Five of Swords reverse, which is good. No conflict surrounding this, which is good. Nine of Wands. Somebody's been struggling, though. Maybe with coming forward, strength. Maybe not feeling confident enough. Or maybe they may kind of watching you struggle. And, you know, they just had buying their time, waiting for you to regain your strength. The Strength card reversed. But I don't see any conflict surrounding this. The Hierophant definitely is a big level up. You know, it can't speak of marriage, divorce, um, commitments. Can also, well, it's reverse. It's about divorce, but uh, big leveling up. Uh, morals, traditions, values, growing, learning, expanding, kind of energy as well, and leadership energy. Hmm. This person is even if they've been divorced in the past, I don't think they're afraid of getting into another relationship either which is kind of a good thing this may be someone very traditional does things by the book they could be a leader business owner entrepreneur i mean with the hierophant as well um but we do have taurus here in leo All right let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the king of swords somebody here could be divorced sometimes king queen of swords for me can be divorced people also someone um truth clarity this also could be somebody that works in military Law enforcement, medical, education, communications, someone that may be of service uh, to somebody, uh, to others as well in whatever they do. 
uh, even counselor therapy, something like that as well. The star healing. This could be somebody who is like a counselor, counselor, um, therapist, or something like that. Or they actually do, with the healing here with the star, work in the medical field of some kind. But the star is wish fulfillment, dreams come true kind of energy. Queen of Wands reversed, judgment reverse, and the sun. Huh. I definitely feel like they, they, not that they weren't lacking the courage, they just knew they couldn't take action because of circumstances and the judgment in reverse is like they already made up their mind. They know how they feel. They know what they want. In the sun, we have two people coming together here. It's the happiest energy you could ask for. And did I not say all this luminosity and the sun, all this glow up energy, and now we have the sun, which is kind of uh, backing that up as well. All right. Libra. And we do have the king, which is a match to the queen. And the um, emperor and empress. So, all right. Let's see. Libra. Let's see what else we have for you. What else do we need to know about this for Libra July love? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? Libra. Let's see. Eight of Wands, travel, action, communication, someone shooting their arrows at you, Libra. Cupid's love arrows. Five of Wands, reverse. Again, there's no conflict surrounding this or whatever conflict was preventing them from coming forward. Like, say, you had conflict going on or, what, or maybe some of this is their energy. If you need to switch it, you can. But I definitely see with the um, Five of Swords and the Five of Wands reversed, those are both more or less conflict cards reversed as saying no more conflict. Knight of Cups reversed. Definitely somebody could not make moves before. But there's the sun again. Two people coming together. Judgment in reverse. Like I said, this person knows exactly what they want. And they want the happiness, the joy. They want to bask in your sunshine. Not that they want to steal all your energy, but, you know, this could be someone very... I feel like there's a very vibrant energy about you right now. And this person could be vibrant as well. And they just feel like the two of you together would just be like out of this world I kind of felt that do we have the world show up here was it on the bottom of the deck I don't remember anyway we've got Scorpio Leo Scorpio again all right let's see let's see let's see wheel of fortune fate destiny divine timing things getting better moving in the right direction things meant to be growth expansion ace of swords reverse so maybe this person hasn't come forward yet Maybe you don't have no clue. But there's the King of Wands again. Um, oh, I thought we had the Queen of Wands here. Did we have the Queen of Wands here? Was it reversed? Oh, it was on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Still a match, though. Four of Cups. A lot of wondering. A lot of wondering. But there's the connection with the lovers. Just saying. There's that connection. There's that connection. All right. We'll do one more line for you, Libra. See what else you need to know. If it does resonate with Libra, please do like, comment, all the great things. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. All right, Libra. So let's see what else we need to know about this. What else? What are the final messages for Libra? Ace of Swords. In reverse, though. Five of Pentacles reverse. There's not going to be anything lacking here. All the kind of negative cards are all reversed. So I really don't see any like negativities surrounding this. There's the lovers again. Four of Cups is just a lot of wondering. And there's the King of Wands. So if this person was hesitant, thinking, 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 like, oh, what should I do? They're going to come forward with the King of Wands. King of Wands, very authoritative, strong, courageous, brave. They make it happen. They know what they want. They get it done. Uh, fire, passion, attraction as well. And the lovers here for that connection. But it's going to start with, you know, a reaching out, communication, an invitation, whatever that may be, which maybe it hasn't happened yet. Um, but the King of Wands definitely will make that happen. So we have Gemini and uh, Leo here again. Three Pentacles. We do have growth, expansion, building. I don't know if you ever worked with this person. It doesn't have to be, though. But here's the Ace of Cups. So there's a brand new beginning in love. 
page of pentacles that could be the offer a drink a date a coffee would you like to go out and chit chat talk whatever two of cups so we can you know come together and finally turn this into a romantic connection is kind of what i'm feeling so it may not have been before so it could have been someone you know a friend maybe a co-worker i don't i don't know whatever your situation is in the very near future here with the three of wands and we do have the positive moment here with the chariot you know it could be traveling moving or distance but chariot is positive moment forward success victory balance and the king of pentacles very uh, trustworthy dedicated energy and the king of cups so king of pentacles king of cups i believe we saw the king of wands did we have the king of swords because all four kings is the emperor i don't remember if we had the king yeah i think we did yeah we did because i remember showing it with the queen so all four kings is the emperor so this is a match here and you have the emperor right on the empress i'm just saying so i think you know whoever this is that wants to love you all up they also admire your glow up as well but let's see what angel answers we have for you libra also libra my website is down below so you can check that out if you want to everything you absolutely need to know is on that website and everything you need to know is down below so you can check all that out if you like to all right libra so let's see let's see It's a yes and be assertive. Yeah, did I not say this person was going to be assertive if they haven't yet? Because we do have the King of Wands here, which can be assertive. Not in a bad way, but, you know, they take action. What else here for Libra? In the next few months. Hmm. In the near future. Um. All right. I just wanted one more. That was too many. Okay. Remain positive. So I do think they're remaining positive here, but um, we also have to reconsider. Hmm. You may have psychic thoughts like, hmm, I don't know, maybe you never thought about this person this way. <clears throat> but they're definitely trying to figure out when is the right time to come forward. But they will, I think, very soon. Very soon. With the next few months. I'm not feeling like it's that far out, you know. Um, I mean, it could be. But maybe, you know, you just go through something and you've just been having, like, a great past few months. And this person's now really feeling like, okay, now I really want to ask Libra out. Because I admire them. And I want to love them all up. That's kind of what I Anyway, Libra, <laughs> that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped. That resonated. Um, and again, everything you know is below. Need to know is below. Wishing you the best. And I shall see you next time.